Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my yearly favorites, my best of beauty from 2014. I want to wish you guys all a very happy new year. It's crazy that it's 2015. I'm sure if you've been watching YouTube videos, you're tired of people saying that, but it's hard not to say. So I have a bunch of products in front of me. I tried to only pull products that I really, really loved for 2014. I mean, I used a ton of stuff, but I only wanted to focus on things that I absolutely love, that I want to use for years and years to come. So I'm going to jump in and try to get through this video as quickly as possible while giving you guys the information that you want to know about. Mom. Hello. Hi, Mom. Okay, so the first product that I wanted to talk about, I use in every single one of my videos. I've used it nonstop since I've got it, and it is the Hangover RX from Too Faced. This is a replenishing facial primer. I'm not sure if you guys are sick of seeing this product, but it's absolutely amazing. I like to apply it before I put my makeup on because I kind of use it as a moisturizer. It is silicone free, so it's not going to... Um, it's not going to hide the appearance of pores on your face. It's just going to replenish... It's just, it's just going to replenish your skin. It has coconut water in it, electrolytes, and probiotics. Um, again, it's silicone free, and I love it. This one's almost completely empty. If you're somebody that has oily skin and you want to put on a moisturizer before you do your makeup, I totally recommend this because it does hydrate your skin beautifully, and it absorbs into the skin super quickly, so you're not going to be sitting there waiting for it to dry before you move on to the next step. So absolutely love that guy. The next product is from Smashbox, and this is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and this is the Pore Minimizing one. They have I want to say six or eight of these primers they have a whole range and this is absolutely my favorite primer um, for the longest time I was using the benefit professional and I haven't used that since I've bought this product I was gonna say I still use it once in a while but I, I don't really use it ever because I just think that this agrees with my skin more um, it stays on my face a lot longer than the pore professional did I feel like it just covers your imperfections a lot more than the pore minimizer did it just leaves your skin super flawless and it kind of takes away any shine that you have in your face and it wears for about eight hours so you get a pretty long wear out of it and I just absolutely love this guy this isn't one that I would wear though without makeup like you can get away with wearing the benefit pore professional without makeup but this one is definitely to wear underneath your makeup so I absolutely love this guy I swear by him and that is my new holy grail face primer I can't stop touching this hair okay so for foundations I only have a couple the first ones uh, that I want to mention are from the drugstore and this is the magic nude liquid powder from L'Oreal again I was self tanning and I forgot to super scrub my hands so don't don't mind this right here. This one I love for the summertime. I haven't used it since summer's been gone. I mean, even though it's Florida and summer is year-round, but I haven't used this guy since technically summer's been gone. But this stuff is great. You can apply it super, super fast. It's meant to be applied with your fingers, and you can listen and see that it's super, super liquidy, but it, it has really great coverage. I love the coverage that it gives. And again, it's super lightweight on your face, so it's great for those summer months or if you're on vacation in like a tropical climate and you still want to wear foundation but you don't want anything heavy on your face, this is the bad boy for you. I have this guy, I want to say, in like eight different shades. Don't judge me. So my next one is from the drugstore as well, and this is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I love this foundation. I have loved it for years, so I'm not going to go into too much depth about it because I use it in almost every single one of my videos. I've talked about it a million times. I just love the coverage, and it's affordable, and they have a huge color selection range, so I love this guy, and I've been using him for years and years, and I always go back to him. For high-end foundations, I only have one that I want to mention. I did try a bunch throughout the year. I tried the Lorac. Perfection. I tried the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I tried a uh, Studio Fix. This is the best one that I've found, um, and it's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now I do have oily skin, but I am not a matte foundation kind of girl. I like the oil. I like the dew. I need it in my life. So um, if you do have oily skin, this one may not wear on you for as long as you'd like. But the coverage is amazing. It blends beautifully. It's sits on your face very very nicely and I do use a primer and I do um, most of the time set my makeup with some kind of setting spray so I feel like I get a pretty good wear out of it what I do have it on my skin today I love how it photographs that's super important if you're Instagramming and yeah so this is luminous silk and it is in the color oh my god 
So Luminous Silk, and this is in the color 6.5. So next, let's talk about brows, because usually after I do my foundation, I move on to my eyebrows. Um, so I like to use some kind of wax or something to hold my brows down and keep them in place. Otherwise, they just kind of fall and don't stay like up like where they should. So I always like to start with some kind of wax and this is the Anastasia I want to say, I don't even know what it says because it's all rubbed off um, but I think this is a brow primer not positive but it is just it's just a wax pencil you can pretty much find these anywhere most sometimes they'll be like dual ended and you can have like a highlighting stick on one side and then the wax on the other but I love this guy just a little heads up all my products are from Anastasia but I mean she is the queen all hail the queen so of course I'm gonna use her products I love the brow Wiz pencil this is totally a holy grail of mine I have been using them in two colors recently I use soft brown and the color taupe just since my hair has been lighter and, and I lighten my brows a lot more than I do when my hair is dark um, but these are great there is a spoolie on one end and then just the wax pencil on the other end and I like to use this um, to mainly outline the bottom of my brow and then if you're going to use this in your brow you want to use like little flex you don't want to just like arr, 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 you know like draw a pencil on you just want to use a light hand and do like hair strokes to get a natural looking brow I love a dip brow from Anastasia as well I've been using the color blonde but I haven't used this in a little hot minute um, because I've been filling my brows in with powder recently which I've never really filled my brows in with powder because I've always been like, ugh, it feels so hard to me. I don't want to fill them in with powder, but um, it does make your brows look a lot more natural. Uh, dip brow is great if you have no brow hairs at all and you need those to stay locked and loaded all day long. This stuff is waterproof. It's not going to go anywhere, but I have a pretty full brow to begin with. So I've just been filling him in recently with just powder. And this is the Pro um, palette from Anastasia, which most people don't need this palette. Um, she do They do sell the individual powders and I just use a mix between taupe and soft brown and I've been loving it lately and you do have the brow um, primer in here but I never use it because I just use the stick so um yeah so brows are the most tedious part of makeup it is true it is true um, so another step is I like to set my brows with some kind of brow gel and of course it's from Anastasia like I just said so um, I kind of go between the two I like the tinted brow gel in brunette and I just like the clear brow gel on its own whichever you prefer the tinted brow gel is great because if you miss some parts in your brow when you're filling them in if you use a tinted brow gel it'll kind of conceal all that and then the clear brow gel is just mainly to hold those bad boys in place one last brow product and it's not from Anastasia it is from Kelly Baker brows and there's not a name on this but I'm assuming it's just a highlighting pencil from her and I love a highlighting pencil after I do my brows instead of going through the whole even longer process of carving out your brows with concealer I just like to go under the brow and highlight and blend out and then just do a little on top at the end of the tail just to kind of accentuate the arch and I really love this pencil because the consistency is just so creamy and it blends out so 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 easily I've tried other highlights pencils and they just do not blend out and I end up messing up my brow trying to get it in there and blend it out but this one is just like butter and I absolutely love this guy we still got a lot to go <laughs> for eyeshadow I'm just quickly going to go through it because I couldn't just sit and pick an eyeshadow because that's a joke so for my favorite eyeshadows they're all in these Z palettes it's just going to be Anastasia shadows and makeup geek shadows um, I don't have them separated anymore they're all just kind of mixed together and I love a Z palette Z palettes are amazing for storing all your individual eyeshadows and if you buy an individual eyeshadow it's most of the time cheaper than if you were to buy it say in a pot or something so um, these are all magnetic that they just kind of stay in here so Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows and makeup geek eyeshadows are definitely my favorite for 2014 I feel like that's basically all that I used in 2014 um, I used mainly the Amrezi palette but you can't get the Amrezi palette from Anastasia anymore but you can get the single shadows that were all in the same kit and kind of you know make your own Amrezi palette and a Z palette absolutely love those I'm not gonna pick any colors or anything because that would just take too long but we know I'm a warm brown kind of gal neutrals <laughs> for concealers I have five that I want to mention to you and the first one is the Mac pro Longwear concealer and this is in the color NC 30 I used pro Longwear more towards the beginning of the year 
year and last year and then I kind of fell off from it but I'm back to using it because I don't know I don't know why I fell off from it I think I got addicted to the one that I'm gonna mention in a second but this guy is the bomb.com I love this um, I have NC 30 and I have NW 20 um, I do prefer NC30 though. I think it just looks better underneath my eyes than NW20 does. So I love this. This is a creaseless concealer, um, but you do have to set it immediately. I like to pat everything out with my finger and have my brush ready with powder, like pat, 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 pat. You know what I mean? Like, so that it doesn't give it any time to crease under my eyes. You want to set your concealer immediately before moving on to anything else on your face to prevent lots of creasage. The next one um, that I got addicted to is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. Um, this is supposed to be a creaseless concealer as well. Both of these um, concealers do crease on me, but not as bad. Hold on. Okay, but not as bad as other concealers have creased on me before and again the tip of just having your powder brush ready to tap out your concealer really helps prevent lots of creasage so this is beautiful it blends out nicely it has a really gorgeous color um, it kind of illuminates the under eye area and I just can't say enough good things about it I recommend this to everybody and everybody that I've ever recommended this to they're absolutely in love with it so you're welcome okay to go hand in hand with that Radiant Creamy Concealer, I always use the MAC Prep and Prime Light Boost. I love this. It is just a yellow highlighting pen, and I don't really love Radiant Creamy Concealer on its own, and that's just me personally. I mean, tons of people use it solo dolo, and they love it, but me personally, I don't love it as much. Like, I have to wear it with the MAC Prep and Prime, so this is totally a holy grail for me, and these two together are just like, ah! magic. Next is the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in the color Creamy Beige. I love this concealer. I think it is amazing for being so inexpensive. The coverage is bomb. It is super similar to me to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. The only difference that I really find is this one dries super duper fast. Like, I like to put both, like, I like to put product on both of my eyes before I blend out, and I find by the time that I'm putting concealer under this eye, this is already kind of drying out. So you have to really get in there and tap it out. But I find the coverage to be amazing. Um, this doesn't crease on me hardcore well, because I just, you know, do that technique of powdering super duper fast. Um, but I love the color, the consistency. Love this guy. I have to mention the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. This one has super great coverage as well. Easy to blend out and they have a nice color range that will suit everybody's needs. So had to mention this guy. And I find my NYX products at Ulta, um, but my CVS carries them now too. So if you have a hard time finding, NYX products, try Ulta, and then check your CVS too because I know a lot of them carry their brand now. So to set concealer right away, what I was talking about, like having your powder ready, I use the Makeup Forever HD powder, um, and it comes like this, which is way cooler than how it used to come. So all you do is like tap your brush in there to pick up a product. So I am tapping out concealer and I'm tapping my brush in this, tap, 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 and then as soon as my finger is gone, it's like I'm tapping out the concealer immediately. I don't use this for a brightening effect, I just use this to set the concealer immediately. To give that more brightening effect under the eyes, usually after I'm done with all my makeup, I'll go in with one or both of these colors sometimes, but these are the shaping powders from MAC, and I love emphasize for underneath the eyes and soft focus. So most of the time, I will just mix these two together um, to kind of give the under eye a more brighter appearance because the HD powder is just going to set everything in place and it's not going to kind of give that like light to your face. So by using those shaping powders, it gives me the best of both worlds. I used to set with the shaping powders, but I don't know, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't love. So I just use them now to brighten the area. Shaping powders are a pro item, so you can't find them in um, a lot of MAC stores, but you can totally find them online. I think it's just under face and powder, and then it's like all the way to the bottom. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> We're gonna talk about a little bit of contouring. I love to contour first with the NARS Laguna Bronzer, and it's just a matte bronzer, as you can see. He's He's just been through it this year. Um, but I also like to go in and deepen everything with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I feel like this just took over 2014, but it is just such a great idea. This isn't the standard colors that come in the kit um, because I've taken mine out and put them in this kit because this is just what I take with me when I travel. So it just has like 
six basic shadows that I always use, two contour colors, and then my um, highlighting powders. But this is how the contour kit comes, like if you were to buy it, just not with these colors. Um, she does have a huge range of colors, which I will show you guys. I was lucky enough to receive this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour book. This isn't for sale, which I mean, it's just so beautiful. I've never used it. But these, I just wanted to show you the wide range of contour colors that she has. So she's going to give you something for everybody, which I just think is so amazing. So some of these colors are in that contour kit that I was just showing you, but you can buy all those colors individually and then make your own custom contour kit to suit your face knees, which I just think is so bomb. It is magnetic and these bad boys just pop out of here. If you're wondering what colors I actually use to contour, I like to use a combo between Havana and I like copper brown and that is just going to bother me so much. Copper brown really adds a lot of depth for me, so I just like to use a really light hand and just kind of keep it in the more hollow areas of my cheek. Two highlighting powders that I want to mention to you guys. The first one is from Becca, and I always call it Moonshine, but it's Moonstone, so forgive me for calling products by the wrong name, but I just think, you know, Moonshine is cute for it. But it is Moonstone, and it is um, the color that I have on my cheeks, cheeks. I have it mixed with the other Becca powder in Rose Gold. Rose Gold. I always have such a hard time saying it. Rose Gold. I love this. It is just like a champagne highlight, which I love. Um, but it is, it is intense. So for more natural days when I just want like a cheek highlight, I like to use the Girl Lactic Natural Face Glow. And this one's beautiful. It just adds, a, like it says, a really natural glow to your face. I just hit it on the tops of my cheekbones. And it is super natural, super gorgeous, and I love it. For mascara, I just have two that I've been using for years and years and years. I love the Rummel Lash Accelerator and the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Like I've said, I've been using these for as long as I can remember since this even came out. And I always like to do a combo of mascaras because I just feel like it helps the lashes look more full and more in your face. And this is my favorite combo for the bottom lashes as well. For liquid liner, um, just two basics. I love the Maybelline Line Stiletto and the NYC Liquid Liner. Um, I like this one to draw the whole majority of my wing on. And then I just like this one because it has a really small brush that I can really extend my wing with and get that point that I like. This one has a more felt tip applicator so it doesn't give me the like super pointed sharp wing that I want. Just a few false lashes that I want to mention. The first ones are from Ardell and these are the Ardell Glamour Wispies. These are my go-to lash. I have so many pairs of these lashes it's ridiculous. Um, but they are great for everyday wear. They're great if you want to glam up a look. Um, they're what I have on right now and most of the time when I have them on people are like wow you've got really great lashes and I'm just like I'm wearing false lashes because I can't be deceiving like that even when I have hair extensions and people are like oh my god your hair is so beautiful. I'm like I bought it. Love these guys. Um, I also love the Glamour 113s from Ardell, which are kind of similar to the Wispies, except they're more straight. They're not like crisscross like the Wispies are, and they're a tad bit longer. So I like these when I want a longer lash because um, I'm so used to these that sometimes when I wear them, they look super short to me, and I'm just like, it doesn't even look like I'm wearing falsies. So um, sometimes I gotta kick it up a notch and put the 113s on. And then for a more expensive lash, I absolutely, absolutely love the Velour Lashes in Doll Me Up. I love these babies. I think they're so amazing. They're such a gorgeous, glamorous lash. And they have lots of spacing in between them. So you can still see like your eyeshadow and everything behind them because they have so much space in between. These lashes I buy and pay for myself. I mean, if I wanted to, you know, I'm sure that you could just write them and be like, hey girl, send me some lashes. But I, I don't mind spending money on things that I absolutely love. So when Velour was having their whole like 12 days of Christmas and they put these bad boys like buy one get one free, I was like girl let me get these and I think I bought like six pairs. <laughs> I really do love them. I think it's just a glamour, glamour, glamour lash and it just adds that extra uh, to any look that you're like going for especially when, when you're trying to give them your all. You wear those doll me up lashes girl. That's what you wear. I think we're almost done and we just have lip products to talk about. Oh, um, I didn't even address these, but these are just press-on nails. I've been loving press-on nails um, because I am allergic to acrylics now and I can't get my nails done. So sometimes when I don't want to paint my nails or do anything like that, I'll just pop some fakies on. So these are just press-on nails, girl. Okay, let's start with lip liners first because I feel like lip liners took over 2014 simply because 
Kylie Jenner. And I know people will be like, I did a Kylie Jenner tutorial not that long ago. Well, actually, I feel like it was a really long time ago. And people are like, all the top comments will be like, who's Kylie Jenner? And I think that video got like over a million views in like such a short amount of time. So it's like, you guys know who she is. I feel like lip liner took over because of her because she had those fake lips, overdrawn, whatever you want to call them lips. And I feel like it just really made the lip liner world pop off. So um, I, I, I love all these lip liners. They all happen to be from MAC, which I'm sorry about, which you can find drugstore dupes for these. Um, Milani makes great liners, but these are just the ones that I absolutely love. I have almost every single lip liner. Uh, um, and I just, I, I, I like lining the lip, even if it's not like super over lined. I just feel like it just gives a little bit extra to your lip and I loves it. So, um, really quickly, my favorites are Strip Down, I love Dervish, I love Spice, and Whirl, and Soar, and Bully Bear. Soar has to be my all-time favorite. I just think it's such a beautiful, beautiful color. It's what I have on my lips right now. It's usually what I always have on my lips. Boldly bare as well. Dervish as well. Whirl, I like to wear solo dolo just all over my lips. Spice, I like to wear with a little bit of myth in the middle and strip down kind of the same way. Um, the strip down and spice are more of a brown lip liner and then all the rest are more kind of a pinky mauve lip liner. So love lip liners they took over 2014 and i ain't mad at you these ones are all similar so i wanted to mention them these are liquid long wearing lipsticks this one is from kat von d and is in the color lolita i love this i feel like it comes off different on every single person some people it comes off a little more mauvey pink and some people it comes off a little more brown on uh me personally it comes off a little more mauvey pinky brown to me um, but i have to apply it very 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 lightly if i apply it too heavy it does get too dark two other ones that are long wearing liquid lipsticks are from Dosa Colors and I love Kiss of Fire. This is like my all time favorite red. Um, I just I just think it's so beautiful. It has like almost like a pink red to it or I just think it's so gorgeous on the lips and then Bury Me as well. Um, just this beautiful deep purpley color gorgeous and they last all day long okay so moving on to lipsticks i only have three that i want to mention to you guys because i am a lipstick hoarder and i just love too many lipsticks to sit here and talk about all of them i kind of want to find a way to make a video to incorporate all my favorites but for now i'm only going to mention my three top dogs to you so the first one is from mac and it is the color cream sheen i love this color i don't know how many of these i've purchased um it is what i have on my lips today but i kind of have like five different colors on my lips so it's hard to tell that it is on my lips but this is the like main lip color that I have on I love it it's just like this perfect pink nude color the next one is from um, <laughs> dose of colors and I use this all the time as well and um, as you can see it, it kind of has a point like that because I literally put this in between my lips and then just uh, 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 to get that center really popping I love this color um, it's just perfection and it's soft touch I know that I would call it like soft focus and soft focus and soft focus, but the color is soft touch. And then last is from Lorac and it is in the color Goddess. I love this color as well. It's just this beautiful, muted, mauve color. These Lorac lipsticks are, are seriously so nice, so pigmented. It's like one swipe color payoff, which I really love. And I think the packaging is really cute, like this gunmetal color from Gerard Cosmetics. I love Cocoa Bean. It's just this like beautiful, dark, brownie color. And the great thing about these glosses is that you don't have to put anything underneath because they are super pigmented. I love Buttercream this is just like the most perfect pinky color in the world and then I love the color nude I couldn't find a gold cap nude that's how long I've been rocking with them like this is like old packaging and then like this is like pretty new packaging but they do have little lights in them um, and they have a mirror on them which just makes it easy to work with the next one is from Too Faced and this is the melted long wear liquify lipstick liquefied long wear lipstick um, in the color Melted Peony. This is the applicator. I like these because the color payoff is beautiful. I just don't love the kind of applicator because it just gets really messy. There's so much lipstick in the lid, but the color is beautiful. And most of the colors that are in this melted lipstick are like 
perfection colors, but that's my favorite and again It is melted peony another one is a long time favorite and this is NARS Turkish delight I think it's just the best milky pink beautiful lip color lip gloss ever and Even though it's like a pinky color I've worn it over almost every kind of lipstick possible and I feel like somehow it still just works with it So I love this guy I've been using him for years and years and years and then the last favorite that I have to mention to you guys is from Christian Dior and this is the creme de rose smoothing plumping lip balm I absolutely love this guy this is a more new one that I have in my drawer because my one that's just been like beat down is in my purse <laughs> it's just really soothing on the lips and it kind of gives a nice um, palette for whatever lip color you're going to apply it is smoothing um, but I don't know anything about plumping it doesn't plump these babies they're plump enough but love this guy and it smells like rose but I can't really smell it so maybe I am getting sick Mom! Those are all my favorite products of 2014. Again, I just wanted to keep it to my absolute favorite, favorite, favorites. I have tons of things that I love. I mean, I love all makeup. Um, but those are just like my ride or die products that I absolutely love and I have tried for a long time and they've never done me wrong. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you had your little pen and paper out and you were taking notes. Um, I'll have a few more videos for you guys this week. If you guys want to see a challenge between me and Jeremy, um, leave some comments down below of what you guys want to see. Um, cause I'm trying to get him in a video this week because he's got this manly ass beard right now and I'm trying to get him on camera. <laughs> So yeah, uh, leave me that comments down below and I will see you guys super shortly in a new video I don't have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time I will talk to you guys soon. Bye I'm gonna scrub these hands now. Ah! Oh, I like some lip products girl 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 And if I touch my hair a lot just don't say anything about it, okay? Oh, this hair! Ah, ah. Maybe if I like tuck it behind my ear so it'll like stay. No. Maybe. It has parabens in it. Ugh, it has parabens in it. That's... Because that's what you want. Clearly I've been self-tanning. Ah! And then that's from weightlifting. It's so gross. <laughs> I will not get sick. I will not get sick. Should I put it in pigtails? Hey girl, hey! Ridiculous. Ha! For... 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 Oh, for... Okay girl, okay girl. You know what I'm talking about?